Rayak train station, a neglected relic from a bygone era. Built in 1891, it was once at the heart of a transport network that spanned three continents. Now, like much of Lebanon's defunct rail system, it has been left to nature. But with traffic clogging the roads and choking growth, the government is looking for answers, and some see a future in this relic from the past. Elias Malouf runs an NGO called Train Train. He says the railway network, destroyed by the country's 15-year civil war that ended in 1990, can be restored and boost the country's growth. When you break the network of transportation in a country after a war, that means the country is paralyzed. And we are in a paralyzed country, and we've been in a paralyzed country for more than 30 and 40 years now. A major study into the issue is underway, though many have gone before it. But Elias believes last summer's protest against the country's trash crisis has rejuvenated civil society, which will act to demand a solution to Lebanon's transportation problem. They can feel the, the, the energy of the civic society. They can feel it, the government can feel this. They know that there is something happening. The rail authority's head claims that many pressures on the government, including the impact of the Syrian war, mean the time has come for outside help. There should be some kind of commitment from uh, the funding agency, actually, towards Lebanon, because Lebanon is holding and carrying a lot of uh, burden. At the end of the tracks in Tripoli, one resident argues that restoring the railroad is not just about easing traffic. It will be easier for people to interact from all societies, all sects, all religions, all levels of society. They will be reunited. In a country as divided as Lebanon, building such bridges could have an impact well beyond easing congestion. John Owens for VOA News, Tripoli.